Thank you very much. Yes, my name is uh, Maria Gardfjell, and I'm the deputy mayor of Uppsala in Sweden. Uh, and of course, I, I fully agree with what you say, Pierre. The cities play an extremely important role in how we can implement our green politics. Now we'll see. I will say just a few words about Uppsala. It's uh, uh, actually appointed as the best student city of Sweden. And of course, we have two universities in Uppsala. We have a strong life science sector. Uh, uh, we are strong on green tech and IT industries. And uh, uh, we grow fast for the moment. The population is... Uh, Uppsala is a, a quite small city compared to, to Paris and Barcelona, of course. Uh, but uh, uh, our growth is, is about 2% uh, yearly. And uh, uh, we, this poses a challenge uh, for sustainability, but it also creates opportunities. And uh, I think we can grow a sustainable way, both economical, social, and ecological. We have a red-green majority in Uppsala. We uh, uh, make this majority together with the Social Democrats and the left-wing party. And uh, we had, a, after the election one year ago, we had uh, strong results in our negotiations with these parties. Uh, we have a strong focus on climate. Uh, we have a strong focus to protect nature and, and biodiversity. We also uh, have a strong focus on, on the growing city with uh, building new houses and doing it in a sustainable way. So we are investing strongly in the and may put a lot of energy in growing green, uh, but that's not enough. We must also involve the citizens. And uh, that's really because that's the best way to uh, give us the best results and acceptance for the changes, the green changes we have to do. That's uh, not, nothing special for Uppsala. You know, it's special for everywhere. And uh, the Green Party in, in Uppsala, we have two deputy mayors in, in the board of the city. And uh, uh, one, my colleague, Rickard, he's also responsible uh, for the, the democracy work. Uh, and we work uh, just to get a, a higher participation uh, in the elections for, from all kind of people. Uh, and we also uh, try to get a, a higher participa participation between the, the elections as well. And uh, <clears throat> how to make that all the layers of the society and not just the well-informed middle class commit to the process in your municipalities is a very good question. And uh, we have this uh, participation ladder. You maybe have seen it before. Uh, each step means a higher level of involvement. You have the information level, the consultation, the dialogue, the involvement, and the co-decision making. And uh, is this so important to put this this way? I think so. Uh, we work right now hard to be clear about which step we are on when we uh, um, when we have this uh, uh, when we work together with our inhabitants. We cannot call a meeting a consultation if it's only information. And that was uh, quite uh, normally done before. Uh, 
because that's not fair for the citizens. We believe clarity is uh, one fundamental way to, to uh, make, it, uh, make the particip participation better. We also seek to involve people earlier in this decision-making processes, uh, to communicate and open up the processes, to build trust, to, to reach new people other groups and those who normally uh, call you or actually email you or uh, pop up at, at meetings. To, to meet these people, you need to be a little bit creative. And you, know, you have to use new technologies as well. To meet young people, you can do it online in a very good way. Uh, you can also uh, start to have kind of neighborhood budgeting uh, programs. And we are going to develop these kind of programs uh, the coming years. To reach the people living in low resources neighborhoods, you need to seek them up. Just go there, be present. Uh, Uppsala is not only the fourth biggest city in Sweden, we also have a quite uh, uh, big area, of uh, um, rural area around us. And uh, it's very important to just be present, to be there and uh, meet people where, where they have their, their normal living. I will take some concrete examples from Uppsala. We, which techniques can be used to engage people in shaping their own neighborhood, is the question. And uh, in uh, our new strategy for the city center, we're trying to evolve people using a new method. We have a map on the central square. Actually, it's, it's integrated with the square. It's quite big. And uh, we... It's uh, uh, demanded by politicians and experts every day for a couple of weeks. Uh, and we develop, uh, this is uh, actually a picture from, from this uh, process where people come to the city, just pop by and were stopped and start to discuss and, and said that this uh, area I would like to, to uh, develop. And uh, we got a lot of, of new kind of, of information from our citizens this way. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, we also presented a, a lot of concrete plans for the city development uh, for, the, for the people, for the citizens in this uh, uh, moment and they, they could react on it. And this is a picture of uh, Swedish words. But um, and it's not a, actually not from the strategy for the city center, but from the plan of land use. That's a parallel process. But the idea is the same. We collected views from people what they think of Uppsala today. And they said uh, that Uppsala is growing, and it's uh, uh, the word lagom, the very Swedish word lagom is there as well. It means moderate, and uh, uh, they also think Uppsala is a small city today. And we also asked them, what is Uppsala in 2050? And uh, growing become living, and lagom became green, and small city became big city. Uh, this survey shaped the first draft of the plan for land use. Uh, now the first draft is in open consultation and we also host meetings around towns. Uh, as I also uh, propose meeting with different stakeholders uh, and uh, also with NGOs to, to really get a big participation. One of our 
uh, green uh, uh, success in Uppsala is that we uh, um, will increase the biking in, in Uppsala. It's one of the most important policy areas and to, to make a more sustainable city. And uh, of course we, we have a budget for fast bike lines and parking for ba bikes, including a, a garage for bikes in the, in the city, uh, smart traffic solutions and so on. But uh, we also have a, a good uh, uh, way of doing this together with the citizens. We're working with the situation analysis and a plan of biking and we also have an open survey for, for the citizens. Another important area is, uh, of course, public transport. Uh, and uh, we are going to invest a lot in the public transport the coming years. Uh, we're aiming to have uh, trams in Uppsala. I hope they will be as green as they are here in Helsinki. Uh, and. Uh, and we also have, uh, since uh, some 10 years, uh, biogas buses uh, in Uppsala. And we need the citizens to increase the amount of biogas buses because they need to provide us with their, uh, uh, their uh, yeah, you know, their waste. It's not rubbish. It's, uh, extremely important that we, we get the right sorted uh, waste from the households to, to just increase the amount of, of, uh, uh, of, of that kind of waste that you use for making biogas. We're also working a lot with organizations and this picture is uh, from the climate protocol. Yes, we have a local pr climate protocol in Uppsala. Uh, it's uh, created to um, together with, uh, with the municipality, of course, and together with the, with the business companies, and with also universities and uh, uh, many other organizations. And uh, the important with this climate protocol is that uh, we're actually uh, reaching the targets of climate, uh, for making the climate uh, uh, um, gases uh, reduction better. If you see this, uh, if we just uh, go the, the red uh, arrows, it was, if we, if we didn't have this climate protocol, we could reach the red levels. And with the climate, uh, Uppsala climate protocol, we, we can reach the yellow le level. And then we need some more politics on the national level to reach down to, to below zero, but um, it's uh, important to know that uh, we set up a scenario uh, together with the, the businesses in, in Uppsala and we tried to reach uh, four percent reduction the last three years and uh, now we actually reach 11 percent uh, minus. Something is happening here. Um, we also work uh, a lot with, with um, NGOs, actually, uh, working with organizations. For example, the Nature Protection, Protection Society in Uppsala has 8,000 members, and they are involved in the Envi Environmental Protection Council of Uppsala, and it's an organization within the, the Uppsala municipality that's actually, uh, is, I'm the chair of this council and we have the representatives of the environmental uh, local organization in this board. And they are consulta a consultation group for, for the city board. And, of course, we have to move forward. And uh, we do it in Uppsala to, uh, uh, in many ways. But uh, I will take one example. Mehmet Kaplan told that he is the uh, minister of <laughs> cities. 
but it's also the Ministry of IT, and uh, I also have a responsibility in, in information te technologies. And uh, actually, IT has to be used in the democratic process uh, and improve transparency in many better ways in future. And we have a new policy in Uppsala that actually promotes this uh, very good. Uh, I will uh, stop my presentation there, but I will also tell you you are politicians from all the Europe, and uh, your role is very important. It's um, very much in the, in the political works, uh, actually, is about how you uh, manage your job. You have to be uh, good politicians. You have to open up. You have to uh, be active. You have to listen at people, you have to uh, be good negotiators to uh, reach uh, the goals. So uh, I hope for a very good debate and uh, uh, I see forward to listen to you, my colleagues. Thank you. So thank you. So as a nonce, I, I will give now the, the, the opportunity to Ricard and Jacques to, to raise perhaps some question of clarification or others, what do you want to do vis-a-vis -vis Maria? Um, so Ricard, you should uh, start. Okay, uh, Maria, thanks very much for your nice talk uh, that uh, I find very, very interesting. Um, I think it's very interesting uh, your participation ladder. It ranges from uh, information to co-decision uh, making. Uh, well, my my question is about: uh, um, Do you have any experience as well on citizen involvement on policy implementation? That is uh, uh, about working together, social organization, community groups, and council professionals. On, policy, on putting policy in practice at a neighborhood or community level? It's my question because I think this is increasingly relevant for people, not only get involved on how decisions are made, but how decisions are implemented. Okay. okay. Yes, uh, we of course have, have a lot of different experience on that. Uh, for example, we, we uh, uh, right now is uh, promoting to, to have a, uh, this uh, biking plan uh, on. And then we, we actually need uh, the, uh, the local groups, uh, the local biking groups to show us uh, the way they, they want to do it. And actually they, they also are, are um, uh, active in uh, having uh, courses in biking for, for groups that never biked before, for example, as a part of this program. It's just a small kind of, of example. Uh, and we also have a lot of uh, participation in the social side of, of our work. Um, I will think a little bit about it. Maybe I can, can okay. come back okay. on that. Jacques? Yes, you said that uh, Uppsala had uh, uh, had uh, 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 about 20% uh, uh, of foreign people living there. Uh, how is a specific problem to associate them to the decision because of the language, because of the, uh, of the participation, because those kind of people generally are, are workers and do not have enough time to participate to the democratic session? And how, what is your policy uh, from these people, with this, those people? Yes, of course, it's, uh, it's one of the prob problem. Uh, it's actually a problem also in the elections to make them active. And uh, uh, we have a good uh, um, work together with the, with the organization called CU. It's, uh, uh, the in, uh, it's actually an organization that uh, has uh, uh, these groups uh, is represented in, in that group. 
and uh, uh, they organize uh, a lot of activities uh, before the elections uh, to make people go voting. It's not, uh, uh, and they also invite uh, uh, politicians. And uh, uh, I have been to their radio. They have a radio that uh, send information in, in 20 different languages. And uh, of course, uh, that's very important to be on their uh, canals to to be uh, uh, to be well known because to be a well known person among these groups, uh, they uh, can talk to you at the square uh, Saturday. They can uh, uh, they 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 see that their their uh, friends uh, know about you. That's very important to make this kind of trust for the society in general. It's not about the uh, political parties uh, in general. It's ab about having this contact with, with the groups. That's important. I, I used to say to them when we have the uh, information or debates with, with uh, these groups that uh, uh, the most important is that they, uh, they vote and uh, that they are active in society, not that they will vote at, at uh, the Green Party. So, so it's uh, it's uh, it's a lot about having this uh, building trust, actually. Okay, thank you. Um, I think we will move. Uh, we we have taken almost um, 18 minutes, so we are rather on schedule. So no, it's perfect. Um, we will move to Jacques. Jacques will speak in French. So, by the way. Uh, uh, il y a une traduction qui s'opère entre le français et l'anglais. Donc Jacques va faire sa présentation en français, mais le PowerPoint dont il dispose est en anglais. So the PowerPoint will be uh, in English, but the presentation will be in French, and you have a, a team of translator uh, for people who do not understand French, which I think could be some of you. <laughs> uh, and so we, we will uh, we will start again 10 to 15, 15 minutes maximum. Huh? Okay. Okay, Jacques, floor is yours. <laughs> 